Hello everyone, this is Sir James, I'm your virtual math teacher. Welcome to our math video tutorials. Ngayong araw ay pag-aaralan natin ang tungkol sa multiplying fractions. At para sa ating objectives ngayon, first, we're going to multiply simple fractions by another simple fraction or by mixed fractions. Second, we're going to multiply mixed fraction by another mixed fraction. Lastly, we're going to change mixed fraction to a simple fraction. Una, pag-aaralan muna natin on how we, we multiply simple fraction to a simple fraction. There are three steps to involve. First, multiply the numerator by the numerator. Second step, multiply the denominator by the denominator. Last step, reduce fraction to lowest term or its simplest form if possible. Example, we have 2 fourths times 2 fifths. Mapapansin nyo, 2 fourths is a simple fraction multiplied by 2 fifths which is also a simple fraction. So these three steps are to be followed. First, multiply the numerator by the numerator. We have 2 times 2 is equals to 4. 2 times 2 is equals to 4. Next step, multiply the denominator by the denominator. 4 times 5 is equals to 20. 4 times 5 is equals to 20. Last step, reduce fraction to lowest term or simplest form if possible. So kung mapapansin nyo, ang ating sagot ay 4 over 20. Tandaan na pag meron pang number na pwedeng mag-divide sa ating numerator at denominator, ay pwede pa natin itong i-reduce sa lowest term. Meron pang common factor ang 4 and 20. And the common factor or the greatest common factor of 4 and 20 is 4. So we're going to divide 4 by its numerator and denominator. So 4 divided by 4 is equals to 1. 20 divided by 4 is equals to 5. So therefore, our final answer is 1 fifth. So the lowest term of 4 over 20 is 1 over 5 or 1 fifth. Multiplying again simple fraction to a simple fraction. There are three steps to be followed. First, multiply the numerator by the numerator. Second, multiply the denominator by the denominator. Last step, always reduce your fraction to lowest term or its simplest form if possible. Example, 1 third times 4 fifths. 1 third is a simple fraction. 4 fifths is also a simple fraction. Step 1. We're going to multiply the numerator by the numerator. We have 1 times 4 is equals to 4. 1 times 4 is equals to 4. Next step, multiply the denominator by the denominator. So we have 3 times 5 is equals to 15. 3 times 5 is equals to 15. Last step, reduce fraction to lowest term or its simplest form if possible. So kung mapapansin din nyo, ng 4 at 15 ay wala ng common factor. So ibig sabihin that our answer is already in a lowest term. So therefore, 4 fifths, 4 over 15 is our final answer. Let's proceed to another example. This time, we're going to multiply simple fraction 
to a whole number. There are steps to be followed. First, multiply the numerator by the numerator. Second, multiply the denominator by the denominator. The last step, reduce fraction to lowest term or its simplest form if possible. Say for example, if we have 4 over 7 times 5. So kung mapapansin ninyo, 4 over 7 is a simple fraction. Times 5, yung 5 is a whole number. Paano natin sila multiply? Always take note that all whole numbers has the denominator of 1. So again, lahat ng ating whole number, ang kanyang denominator ay 1. So we're going to make this whole number as a simple fraction. So it will become 4 over 7 times. Sabi ko kanina, ang ating whole number ay may denominator na 1. So 5 becomes 5 over 1. Now this time, pwede na nating i-multiply ang numerator by the numerator. So we have 4 times 5 is equals to 20. 4 times 5 is equals to 20. Next step, multiply the denominator by the denominator. So we have 7 times 1 is equals to 7. Then last step, a reduced fraction to lowest term or simplest form if possible. Take note, pag ang ating sagot ay improper fraction, we're going to change that one to mixed fraction. So paano? We just simply divide the numerator, 20, by its denominator, na 7. So 20 divided by 7 is equals to 2. Next operation, multiply. 2 times 7 is equals to 14. Then, subtract. 20 minus 14 is equals to 6. So, we have the quotient 2 and we have the remainder which is 6. The quotient 2 will become our whole number. The remainder 6 will become our numerator. And then, just copy its denominator which is 7. So therefore, our simplest form or the mixed form of 20 over 7 is 2 and 6 over 7. The final answer is 2 and 6 over 7. Next, we're going to multiply simple fraction to a mixed fraction. In multiplying simple fraction to a mixed fraction, there are four steps to be followed. Step 1. Change first the mixed fraction to a simple fraction. Next, multiply the numerator by the numerator. Next, multiply the denominator by the denominator. Last step. Always reduce fraction the lowest term or simplest form if possible. Suppose we have 2 pips times 2 and 2 thirds. So, we're, kung mapapansin nyo, yung 2 pips is a simple fraction multiplied by 2 and 2 thirds which is, which is a mixed fraction. So, anong unang gagawin? Change first the mixed fraction to a simple fraction. So, yung ating mixed fraction na 2 and 2 thirds, gagawin natin itong simple fraction or improper fraction. 2 fifths times. We're going to change that one. Sa ating previous lesson, paano mag-change ng mix sa improper? We just multiply the whole number by its denominator and the product we're going to add it with its numerator and then copy the denominator paano we have 2 times 3 is equals to 6 
6 plus 2 is equals to 8. Then, to copy lang ang denominator na 3. So, again, 2 times 6, 2 times 3 is equals to 6. 6 plus 2 is equals to 8. Ko copy ng denominator na 3, so it becomes 8 over 3. Next step, multiply the numerator by the numerator. So we have 2 times 8 is equals to 16. Next step, multiply the denominator by the denominator. We have 5 times 3 is equals to 15. Last step, reduce fraction to lowest term or simplest form if possible. So since our answer is an improper fraction, we're going to change this one to a mixed fraction. Papano? We just simply divide the numerator by its denominator. 16 divided by 15. 16 divided by 15 is equals to 1. Next operation, multiply. 1 times 15 is equals to 15. Next, subtract. 6 minus 5 is equals to 1. So we have a quotient which is 1. And we have a remainder which is 1. The quotient 1 becomes the whole number. The remainder 1 becomes the numerator. And just copy the denominator which is 15. So our simplest form or our mixed fraction is equal to 1 and 115. The final answer is 1 and 115. Next example, multiplying mixed fraction to another mixed fraction. There are four steps again to be followed. Step 1, change first the mixed fraction to a simple fraction. Lagi po natin gawing Simple fraction lahat. Ang mix, gawing simple fraction. Ang whole number kanina, ginagawa natin simple fraction. Next, just multiply the numerator by the numerator. Next step, multiply the denominator by the denominator. Then last step, always reduce your fraction to lowest term or simplest form if possible. Suppose that we have 3 and 2 thirds times 1 and 3 fourths. 3 and 2 thirds is a mixed fraction multiplied by 1 and 3 fourths which is also a mixed fraction. So, papano? First step, change first the mixed fraction to a simple fraction. So again, as a recap, how we're going to change mixed fraction to improper fraction. We just multiply the whole number by the denominator. 3 times 3 is equals to 9. 9 plus 2 is equals to 11. Then to copy the denominator na 3. So therefore, 3 and 2 thirds becomes 11 thirds. Times. Change the ang 1 and 3 fourths into a simple fraction. So, gaya ng ginawa natin kanina, we just multiply the whole number by the denominator. 1 times 4 is equals to 4. 4 plus 3 is equals to 7. Copy the denominator, which is 4. So, we have 1 and 3 fourths becomes 7 fourths. Now, this time, pwede na tayong mag-multiply ng kanyang numerator by another numerator. So we have 11 times 7 is equal to 77. Next step, multiply the denominator by the denominator. We have 3 times 4 is equal to 12. The last step, reduce fraction to lowest term or simplest form if possible. So dahil ang ating sagot ay improper fraction, 
we're going to make it as a mixed number. Daan, ang kung ang sagot natin ay improper fraction, gagawin nating mixed fraction. Paano? Divide the numerator by its denominator. 7 to 7 divided by 12. 7 to 7 divided by 12 is equal to 6. 6 times 12 is equal to 72. Then subtract. 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. So we have the quotient which is 6 and the remainder which is 5. So again, the quotient becomes the whole number. The remainder 5 becomes our numerator and copy the denominator which is 12. So therefore, our final answer is 6 and 5 over 12. So sana may natutunan kayo sa araw na ito. Hanggang dito na lamang, hanggang sa susunod nating video tutorials. Again, this is Sir James, ang inyong virtual math teacher. Maraming salamat! Paalam! Thank you.